Hallelujah. Give a shout. Give a thanksgiving. Worship Him. Lift up His name. He's worthy to be praised. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for this grace. In Jesus' name. Amen. I've touched your grace. My life has changed. Your life will never be the same again. Can we take our seats? Hallelujah. Greetings in the name of Jesus. We are grateful for a beautiful day. It's our new year. We give thanks to God. Hallelujah. Amen. May God give you a new season in your life. May you enter into a higher dimension spiritually in the name of Jesus. May you experience open heaven. In the name of Jesus. We are teaching on the apostolos. The sent forth one. We are going to share from the scriptures. So that we will serve the Lord. Can we bow our heads as we pray? Our Father and our Lord, we thank you today. We give you praise that you are God. That there is no one but you. We pray, Father, as we give thanks, as Christ said, this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God. Even this morning, Father, this is our quest. This is our push. This is our understanding. That, Father, may we come to know you. May we have fellowship with you. May we experience you. We pray for open heaven upon our life. May we walk in the strength and the power of the way that is preached. We pray that your word, Lord, will be strong. That it will be mighty. That, Lord, our hearts will be gripped. That will be convicted. That will be transformed. That will be renewed in the name of Jesus. We offer ourselves, even this morning, as a living sacrifice, holy and set apart for God. We give you praise, O oh Father, for, Lord, your word teaches us that you are God who is enthroned in the praises of your people. We thank you, Father, for your presence, your manifest presence, that, Lord, we can see you tremendous power, tremendous grace has been ushered to us. We thank you, Father, in today. May we enter into our ministry. May we move with forcefulness. Father, with signs and wonders, confirmation of your word, even upon us, in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 12. Uchohane 8, 12. For all of our visitors, welcome to Emmanuel Christian Church. We hope that you have enjoyed until now. May the Lord touch you greatly. May your life never be the same again. John 8.12 Then Jesus spoke to them again saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness but have the light of life. Amen. Johanne 8, 12, Fufundea Ganji. Kona uchesu wabu ya wakuluma gubo wati, minangi ugu kanya gwezwe, ongi landelayo kasoze ahambe ebu mnyamini. Kotwa woba nugu kanya gugu pila. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. May you walk in the light in the name of Jesus. May you experience the light in the name of Jesus. May you be led by the light of Christ in the name of Jesus. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 1 to 3. Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and the high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him who appointed him, as Moses also was faithful in all his house. For this one has been counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who builds the house has more honor than the house. Amen. I'm a happy who three verse one to three of the Ganji. Ngako Kebazalwane Abangwele, and Ninga. 
bahlanganyeli bobu bizwa kwa sezulwini qabangani ngompostulu nomkristu omkhulu wesivumo sethu ukristu ujesu oyethembekile kulowo owambekayo njengomose naye wayethembekile endlini yakhe yonke ngokuba lo othiwe ufanele inkazimulo enkulu kuno mose njengalokho owakha indlu enodumo olukhulu kuneni haleluya amen holy brethren bazalana bangcwe that's the address holy brethren bazalana bangcwe partakers of the heavenly calling So the question is are you a partaker of the heavenly calling? Umbuso ukuthi wena ubazalwane abangcwele eniba ehlanganyeleni ku Your love your passion for Christ. Uthando lwakho ku Kristu. You see when we talk about Christ calling us. Masikhuluma ngo Kristu esibiza. We're not talking about you being a full time pastor that's not what we are saying. Asikhuluma ukuthi wena ube ngumfundisi. But we are saying in wherever you find yourself. Sithi la uyithola khona. Is Christ known? O Christ you are known. Has Christ become the center of your life? O Christ you are you are born again now. Oh, you have come to negate to push away Christ away. No ma uza ugu to koshe o Christ you gudele. Are you making prayers that are general? Christ is not included in the prayer to accommodate your other friends. Uthandaza umkhuleko nje ukwazi ukuthi ujabulisa abangani bakho o Christ you akekho emkhulekeni wakho na. I'm reminded I had a friend This man was devoted to Christ. We work together in a specific company. And they make a gala dinner for all the staff members so we had a night out. So when you enter the hotel. Or the area where the the hall where they were holding this gala dinner for the employees. There's a table with drinks. Orange juice, grape juice, and then the, on the, the drinks there is as well spirits plus wines. orange juice, grape juice, And one one of the beloved, one of the born again. Omunye Jam the orange juice. Well, we like orange juice. Jam the grape juice. We like grape juice. And they had spirit there. Hey. We behind him. But I was not aware that my other friend as well was behind me. So he stood like this. One. What one? Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. and he moved on wahamba my friend my friend saw him umngani wami wamona so on the table where they make us to sit together we are managers so they make us to sit together on the same table etafule ngoba thina besinga ama manager behlelise sonke my friend say i cannot sit here athi umngani wami angengikwazi ukuhlala la a demons here kuna ama demoni la he says no 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 what it cut 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 i am not going to sit with you he, he was very direct he said i'll not sit with you angengihlale na you are compromised I when I will take you. Your love for Christ has been reduced. Uthando lwakho lwa Kristu selihlisiwe. You are trying to be like everybody else. Ufunufana nawo wonke umuntu. He says no. What it can? He refused to sit on the table. Walo anqaba uhlala etafuleni. It's me and my wife who remain there. Yimi beku yimi nenkosikazi yami nje sey. You say I'll get another table. I better sit there. What him na ngqamba nenhlala kwelinye etafu? That's what the Bible teaches. Na into yo Bible says. It says we should fellowship with everybody who doesn't know Christ. Uthi singadlelana nawo wonke umuntu ongazi u Christ. But bazelwane. Kodwa umzalwane Christian. Who has been born again? Ozalwe kabusha. Who's a double standard muzelwane? Oshisa phinda abantu muzalwane. The Bible says have no fellowship with such. Uthi ungadlelane kunye naye. Yes. Amen. Have no fellowship. Ungabi nobudlelwane. Read read your Bible. Fundi Bible lakho. We fell but Apollos one they can drink wine no problem. If you are not born again you can ungafunda kuna ke. They can sing no problem. Bangona futhi akuna ke. They can do mass dancing no problem. Banga enzifata enseda kuna ke. But if he's born again. Mauza usindisiwe. No fellowship. Auna bhlelwane. We cannot sit together. Angeke sihlale sonke. God will be identified as the same. Ngoba nathi sobo buke kanje ngawo. Hey. Holy brethren. Bazalana bangcwe. 
Look at your neighbor and say, Holy bread. Ask them, Are you holy? Holy brethren, partaker, you must read it well, partaker of the heavenly calling. Look at your name and say, partaker. It reminds me of Acts chapter 1, verse 17. Can you go there? Acts chapter 1, 17. Acts 1, 17. For he was numbered with us. Obtain part of this ministry. He was partaker of the heavenly calling. He was part of us. Yeah, this is why the Bible says, if he was of us, he would have stayed. It says, it says, for he was numbered with us. Obtain a part of this ministry. But he loved other things. He stopped being a holy brethren. He stopped being a, a partaker of the heavenly calling. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you tell your neighbor? Can you go to verse 18? Can you tell your neighbor you need to be a partaker of the heavenly calling? Hallelujah. Amen. This one was looking for money. Now this man purchased a field with the wages of iniquity and falling long, headlong, he burst open his middle and all his interests gushed out. That's when people miss out their calling. Amen. Yes. Yeah, he missed his calling. Holy brethren. Look at your neighbor and say, Holy brethren. Partaker of the heavenly calling. Yeah. Amen. 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 There is a small boy in Africa. Amen. Amen. There is a small book I want you to read. It's called, It is a Great Thing to Serve the Lord. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Yeah. Tell your neighbor, we have come here to serve the Lord. Yeah. Amen. When you have come to church to be served. Yeah, there are Christians like that. They don't partake in the heavenly calling. They just remain critical. Can you tell your neighbor it's a great thing to serve the Lord? Matthew 6 33. Matthew 6 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. You have to look at it. What, what is the heavenly calling? It's to seek first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Whenever you are seeking other things, the Bible says, even the people who don't know God, they are pursuing these things. Become a partaker of the heavenly calling. So, my encouragement today is that Apostolus, be the one that is sent forth. In, your, in business, in the business, if you believe you you are a business person. In business, become the example. In your career, as you study or you work, wherever you are working, your profession, let Christ be known. Become the written epistle, become the sign. Even if you don't say much, become the sign. Become the sign. Number one. All these are in 
it is good to serve. It is a great thing to serve the Lord. Chapter 2. All this I'm going to quote to you. I will add. I've added my own things, but I want you to serve the Lord. I said, I want, it's there. If you have the Macarius, you have it. You have the book. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm saying to you, number one, the, the master key is to serve the Lord. Let the Lord be the first in your life. Have a, a tick box, a tick list. To look at it to say, what is my, what is my first thing in this life? Let Christ be the first in your life. You see, if we want to see that you are serious, your devotion, your devotion, it will tell us, the Bible says, where your treasure is there, your heart will be also. We already know where your heart is. You are always with your boyfriend. We know that you will not even come home. You will not come home. You will not return. Amen. You will not return. We know where your heart is. Amen. It's very easy to check where your heart is. All other things, you give yourself fully to them. But when it comes to the things of the Lord, have heart it. So first thing, the master key, is key as cool. It is to love God. This is a master key to prosperity. Yes. If you are going to prosper, love the Lord. Let him be the center of all that you do. Seek first the kingdom. Yeah. Amen. Be a devoted person. Yeah. Amen. Devoted. 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 Fully given. Yeah. Fully devoted to God. Staying on course. Number one, devotion. I'm going to read my Bible. I'm going to listen to messages throughout the day so that my life changes so that my passion for Christ attending the life group attending the cell tells us where your heart is. Yeah. When are you better go and attend Madlows? You go to the party. Acts chapter 15 says, do not participate in these things. Can, can you give it to us? The Holy Spirit is leading us there. Let's, let's read it. Yeah. There is somebody here needs to hear it. Acts 15. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 25. It seemed good to us being assembled one in one accord to send chosen men to you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul. Men who have risked their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have therefore sent Judas and Silas who will also report the same things by the mouth by the word of mouth. Amen. For it seemed good to the Holy Spirit and to us to lay upon you no greater burden than this necessary things. One, that you abstain from things offered to idols. Amen. Number one, oh, abstain God. from things offered to idols. Hey. Abstain. 
I say abstain. I'm talking to you. It's, it was not in my message, but it's in my message. I say abstain. Amen. Imagine somebody. Yeah. Abstain. Amen. The master key is key school. To prosperity is to seek the Lord. Apostolos. Apostolos. When you are sent, you become the servant of the one who has sent you. You put your interest aside. Your personal agenda aside. You do that which you are called to do. You become an ambassador. You are seeking the kingdom of God. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You become the, the, the embodiment of heaven. You bring heaven here on earth. You are bringing change and transformation. You are changing the culture and the tradition of the, the place you have gone. You are, you are creating heaven. The atmosphere of heaven. Yes. May the Lord have mercy. Yeah. We are seeking God's righteousness. So when you serve, you abandon your own rights. Your own preferences, your own desires, but you fulfill the desire of the one that have sent you. If you are employed, it's exactly what you're doing. You do what your master wants of you to do. Yeah, you follow the instruction. You do what the supervisor tells you. When you violate it, you go for DC, for disciplinary hearing. This, this Judas Iscariot violated the principle of representative. He self-represented himself. He had self-interest. So when you, when you are an apostolos, when you have been sent, you serve and you seek the interest of the one who sent you. You seek the interest of the one who has sent you. I, I comes out of your message. I, I myself, I mean, me, myself, me, I'm, I'm out. It's not about you. Yes. It is not about you. You take yourself out. You transform. You become the embodiment of the one who has sent you. To a point that when you speak, people can say, we can hear that it's not you speaking. You have become one, you have become one with the one who has sent you. Not like my neighbor who was an ambassador or a diplomatic cousin. I don't want to serve the West anymore. I want to serve in Africa. There is business here. I don't want to serve the West anymore. I want to serve in Africa. There is business here. Just want to do his own thing. To make himself rich. Yeah, he, told, he told us. I was with my wife. He said, hey, there is enough. Yeah, so he's busy registering lot of businesses channeling, taking privilege channeling the resources that are not supposed to come to him he's taking advantage mercy amen so when when you are an apostolos when you are sent you serve god you contribute to the work of god you promote the work of god that the kingdom of God may come to the place that you are sent. You seek the welfare of the one who has sent you. You serve and you become useful. 
you to the one who has sent you it is important to seek the will of the one who has sent you and you should know that to serve the Lord there is profit in it number, number two Seeking the Lord first was the master key to King Uzziah. It was his key to prosperity. I agree you want to be prosperous. You want to succeed. You want to break through. Seek ye first the kingdom. For as long as the king sought the Lord, he prospered. As he sought the Lord, he, uh, he, people gave gifts to him. As he served the Lord, the name of the Lord spread abroad. Even the king became famous because he served the Lord. You know, we, we went on Friday we, when we left after prayer, we went to another church in Atreshville. And uh, we had an all night. I arrived home for those who were listening on the prayer. I arrived home at five. And locked in and we had a prayer. Saving the Lord. The testimony of the pastor. He made, she speaks uh, generously. Yeah. She speaks generously. What God has done. She says, she said, I was a I was a domestic. What I was a domestic worker. Bang seven makishi. It's just me. I was a domestic. Me nangang seven makishi. And I felt God wanted me to serve him. Yes, go to Kulu Kulu Funa Gusing him seven. He says, I went and served the Lord. Ngaham Banga was seven. He suffered. Get Ula Supe. He says, I started to preach. I serve the Lord. And I thought I said, the Lord has done great things for me. You know, when we were sitting, he said, he said, I have a house. It was built for me. Yes. And I have a house. 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 What to apostle you are going to be able to get the same Amen. I said they are what? Dimensions. Dimensions. As you serve the Lord. Amen. Yeah, somebody was talking, say, your prosperity, we can see it. What price are you willing to pay? The more you see us on the Lord, the more he spread white. The Lord strengthened him. God gave him victory to plan to extend his kingdom. God, God wants to extend you. I said God wants to extend you. Yeah. God wants to make you great. That's the same word he said to Abraham. He said, I will make your name great. I will prosper you. I will bless you. Whosoever curses you, I will curse. Whosoever fight against you, I will fight. Abraham understood. Uzziah sought the Lord. And he was marvelously helped by the Lord. You want help? Oh, seek the Lord. The problem you have is that you have your timetable, your small timetable. Yes. Amen. One woman gave God the ultimate. I want to get married now. If I don't get, I'm going. I don't want to marry you. 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 Spoil it. Yeah. Spoil it. The prodigal son looked at himself and said, you are wasting my time. 
Watch lo kritis katsam. I'm going. Ngiaha. I'm going to do my own thing. Ngiyo zenze lento zam. Listen. Mama. He looked at himself. Why bu ka ye? He said I will do it. What in your way? The woman said. What lo espazani? This is the timetable. Lay timetable. <laughs> Ask your neighbor what's your timetable? Buzi makilo ni wakuti timetable yako yi. Oh, we have timetable so. We are here. Agenda. Amen. Isaiah yeah. sought the Lord and he was marvelously helped. Number three. Seeking the Lord first was the master key for King David. He didn't need anything. God became his help. May the Lord become your help in the name of Jesus. I said, may the Lord become your help in the name of Jesus. The book of Psalm 34, 8 to 10. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Amen. Ihubo 34:8 to 10 funde akanje. Nambithani nibone ukuthi u Jehovah muhle. Ubusisiwa umuntu othembela kuye. Mesabeni u Jehovah ni nabangcwele bakhe. Abaswele aba mesabayo ababongo ezingonyama ayeswela alambe kodwa labo abafuna u Jehovah kabayi kuswela lutho oluhle haleluya amen blessed are those who seek the lord babusekile laba abafuna u Jehovah says, blessed is the man who trusts in the lord ubusisiwe indoda ethembele kuNkulunkulu when you have come to trust in your strength you have your place. Amen. I said I'm teaching from it is a great thing to serve the Lord by Bishop Dick Howard Mills. We are teaching on the apostolos. The one that is sent forth. So I'm saying to you make your mind early. To seek the Lord. Seek the Lord first. Yeah, number four. Seeking the Lord first is the master key to great rewards. Amen. You want great rewards? Seek the Lord. I've received great rewards. And I continue to receive great rewards. The book of Hebrews 11 verse 6. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Amen. Lo oza kunkulunkulu kwamele akholo ukuthi unguye yena onikeza laba abamfuna ngenhliziyo yabo yonke. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord grant you your heart's desire. Unkulunkulu akunike idingo zenhliziyo yabo. The question is what is your heart's desire? Umbuzo ukuthi uyizini idingo zenhliziyo yabo. Are you pursuing Jesus? Ufuna unkulunkulu Jesus? Are you pursuing God? Ufuna unkulunkulu? Are you pursuing his agenda? Ufuna umsebenzi wakhe. Or you have your own agenda. Noma mhlambe wena unezakho nje idingo. What is your agenda? Expect rewards from God. The Bible tells us that the Lord will reward you. He's a rewarder of them that seek Him. God will bless you. Number five, seeking the Lord first will never be in vain. Amen. I told you my story. I came to know Christ at the age of 16. Okay, let me explain to those who are new. Me, I have I was going to church when I met Christ. My parents were devotional or I'll say religious. They'd send us to church. 
graduated the confirmation class. I did the whole year of training. We have a catechism. I, I went through the whole training. And even the day of graduation, when they were asking questions, I was among those who were pointed there and said, Give us one of the Ten Commandments. Because others have already taken others. The one that I did was honor your father and your mother. So when I heard about Christ, I was already. In our church, you don't eat communion until you are confirmed. There are certain things you don't have access to. So I had a blazer. I had a bench, our church bench. Not, not the bench you are thinking about, but our church bench. You get it? Yeah. But I heard about Christ. Where's Wango Christ? And I gave my life. And this is why number five says, Seeking the Lord first will never be in vain. Amen. Yeah, 42 years after. It's not in vain. How many years? 42. Yes, I'm preaching literally to this group here. That in your youthfulness, you can do mighty works for God. There's no amen. They don't believe it. I say, in your youthfulness, you can do mighty things for God. Yes. Amen. The things that I thought they were not significant, they were very powerful. Because my, after my salvation, I really did myself to Christ. My life became anchored. You, you don't come for prayer. How will you be anchored? God is not your desire. I have a, a friend of mine. Essence, this one is an acquaintance because he's a son to my friend. We are together. He's a bishop. A very big, powerful bishop. And he said to me, what he gave me? I am in um, amazement. He's got very rich people in, in their church, or the church he's in. They have some of the most rich people. He says, I'm shocked by their devotion. He says, these people are very busy. He says, Apostle, they come for prayer. He says, the way they are humble, they will even kneel down when they pray. It says sometimes when I make altar calls, they'll be among the first to come. But he said, I'm shocked by the poor. These, these people who don't have much. Who make themselves busy, yet we know they are not busy. He said, I look at these people, they are so busy. But they are, always, they are always in the presence of God. They will come for prayers. They attend the meetings. They attend the midweek. Listen, they are cell leaders. They are the one. It says, but it's amazing. These ones who are not doing much. They don't come. You see, because your heart is not for the Lord. You work. The Bible, the book of Psalm, it says, it says, it gives us that it says, they wake up early, they sleep up late, they eat bread of sorrows. Have you eaten, maybe you have not been poor to the level sometime we have been. Have you eaten something that has fallen on the on the on the scent? You see, if you are poor, you will eat food with scent in it. It's not like our children, when food falls down, they, they say it has fallen, they leave it. They have an option. With us, there was no option. That was the only option. So if your meat falls to the ground, you pick it up. You, 
we will try your level best to remove as much of the sin. And the meat you will eat. You don't know. I was. You wake up early. Sleep late. And you eat bread of sorrows. Yeah, there it is. In vain, in a sense. In vain. Amen. Yes, it's not in vain to serve the Lord, but it says people do it. It's in vain for you. It says it is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat bread of sorrows. Amen. Bread of sorrows. It's a good yeast, again, Ugubani Vuge, Exeni, Nipuse, Ugupumula, Nile Isinqua, says in Hope. Yeah. Bread of sorrows. Isinqua says in Hope. May they all have mercy. Amen. Isaiah 45, verse 19. Isaiah 45. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, seek me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Amen. Isaiah, ufunde aganje. Angi kulumanga ekusitegeni. Enda weni emnyama, emsabeni. Angi shongo waboza alo. Luka chakobe. Ngati, ngifune ngeze mina. Simagate ngikuluma ugulunga. Ngimemezela ukukoto. It is not vain to serve You can look at my life. I believe there are many other people who can look at their life. You can try and serve yourself. Your own dreams. Let your dreams be an extension of the service of God. And the Lord will bless you. Every eye closed, every head bowed. Maybe it's the first time you are coming. But you have been here before. But I want to pray together with you. The Bible says, What will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his own soul? He says the wages of sin is death but the gift of God is eternal life. God said I have a good plan for you. Not to harm you, but to prosper you. We, we just read, he says, seek ye first the kingdom. Today you can come, you can seek first the kingdom. Jesus said, this is eternal life. That they may know you, the only true God. And Jesus whom you have sent. Not just long to me. Jesus said, I've come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Today you can make right with God. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to be free. He wants you to be delivered. But you are the one to make the decision. God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world. But that true him, the world might be saved. If you are here today, you say, I want to receive Jesus. I want my sins to be forgiven. I want to be a child of God. I want this blessing to come upon my life. The blessing of eternal life. Being the delight of God. Amen. Lift up your right hand and lift it high. I want to receive Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Is there somebody else? God bless you. I want to receive Jesus. I want to make right with God. I want the power of God upon my life. I want the grace of the Lord to come upon my life. Is there somebody else? The Holy Spirit is talking to you. This is your turn. 
to make right the church is praying for you God bless you I see your hand is there somebody else I want to make right with God I don't want my life to be vain I don't want to eat the bread of sorrows but I want the peace of God he says I've come that you may have life and have it abundantly. Is there somebody else? The Holy Spirit is talking to you. The Holy Spirit is touching you. God bless you. I see your hand. Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? Is there somebody else? I don't want to leave you out. This is my last call. I want to make right with God. I want to receive Jesus. Is there somebody else? We are going to pray. For all those who lifted their hands as the church rises and stands on their feet please come here on the altar i want to pray with you the whole church can we stand ashes please help them to come and even if you didn't lift up your hand you want to come please come i want to receive jesus i want to be born again i want to be a child of god i want my life to change i want the newness of god to come upon me lord do a new thing in my life change me lord transform me lord by your spirit make me your child is there somebody else i want jesus in my life I want to make right with God. I want to experience His goodness. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can I ask you to come? Yes. No, no. This, this here. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. White head, come. Hallelujah. I want Jesus in my life. God has a plan for your life. To prosper you. To do mighty things with your life. We are going to pray. I'll ask all of us in front to lift up both of our hands. To say to the Lord, I surrender my life. I give my life to you. I'll ask the church to join us in prayer. Please follow me, those who are specifically here in the, in, on the altar. Can you say, Father? Say it again, Father. In the name of Jesus. Today, I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. I thank you, Father, for this salvation. I receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. With my own mouth, I speak. With my own heart, I believe that you raised him from the dead. Write my name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Make me your child. Can you say, Satan, today I cancel all your engagements. I have nothing to do with you. In the name of Jesus, I belong to Jesus. I love Jesus. I have chosen Jesus to be my Lord and my Savior. From this day forward, I'm saving Jesus. Can you say, Holy Spirit, come into my heart. Lead and guide, direct me in Jesus' name. Father, I pray for this, your children. Bless and prosper them. Establish them, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen.